What's up everybody? I'm Jerry, player of Chonan City in Korea and this is a new training Thursday. Now for this week I'm doing something different because last week I got more questions about my new shoes. So I was thinking, you know what? I'll make a new Nike Mercurial Vapor 13 review. I consider myself kind of an expert about the Nike Mercurial because I've played for them for years and years and years and these are my recent ones. Well, they're all the 13s. Now, what do I like about them? Well, first of all, what I really like in the recent years is that when you first put them on, they're already, they already fit. Like I used to get blisters on the, on the earlier ones about two years ago. The fabric was a little different. It was more, more synthetic. And now they're a little bit more, uh, if you see the, the boxes on them, it means they're a little bit more flexible. And now when I put them on, they're perfect from the very first moment. I used to only have that earlier with the Superflies. So I would buy the Superflies because they had a little bit more flexible um, like body and not just the sock. Uh, so I, I would buy the high ones and then I would actually cut the sock um, and then they would be perfect. But since now they've made the change to make the whole body kind of into, a, in the, into the, the sock technique they are just comfortable from moment one. Uh, I don't get blisters in them. And actually they are just perfect after just two trainings. They, they, they just feel like you're wearing a compressed sock around your feet. So they're just an extension of your feet and the technique of the, the studs, which is so typical of the vapors, they really do make you a little bit faster. Um, it's more straight on like they're not round so it's really like acceleration the shape of the vapor uh, just fits so nicely around your feet the weight they're so light uh, I always go for vapor because of those reasons because they are thin and light you're, you're you have a really delicate touch with the ball so your technique yeah I, ju I just prefer the technique with that I can really feel the ball through the shoe and then of course the design. They always come out with sick colorways, sick new improvements. Like also what they did now, uh, the swoosh, they put the swoosh right here and they made like a, an electrical bolt, which is dope. I like it. Uh, I, I kind of missed the swoosh here. Uh, I always like it when there is a, a Nike sign on the front because uh, with these they didn't have it. And I, I just miss it. I, I like the extension on my top foot. It makes my feet look a little bit longer, I guess. And uh, even here with these, I like this. I like the little Nike sign on top. Uh, but I like this even better. They are so streamlined. So they, they make you look fast, you know? If you see a striker or forward with these shoes on, it just gives a little bit extra swag. That's my opinion. You do need to have the style for it though. It needs to be your type of player. You can't wear uh, mercurial vapors and be a real like butcher in the field, you know, like a no style butcher, like a Gattuso. I don't see a Gattuso with vapors on. So the comfort, the light, the weight, uh, the speed, the how you can run with them and the design. There are all reasons why I always go for the Nike Mercurial Vapor. And like I said, the improvements they made on the 13 is why I go for the low version now. Um, as I said, I used to go for the Superflies and then I would cut the sock. They were just too high on my ankle. It makes me less flexible, my ankle less flexible. So I would cut them like, like to right here and then they were perfect. And uh, I heard that Cristiano Ronaldo actually customizes his to be a little lower as well on his ankle. <clears throat> so with the 13, they did make, made a change of the shape because I used to have insoles on the, the previous one. I had the orange, I think, yeah, the, those were the 12 then. Uh, they were orange. I used to have insoles and they wouldn't fit in the 13s. So they made a change in the, 
yeah, like the, the bottom, the sole. And uh, it was a good change because before that, like I said, I used to get some blisters while I would first wear them. And now I, I don't. And after like two practices, they completely uh, wrapped around my feet like, like silk. Now, are they worth your money? In my opinion, yes, they are. They are expensive, but they do add something extra. Style, but also the feeling, the speed, the touch. So I do think they are worth your money. They are expensive. Uh, although I would really, really, really advise to get not just one pair to train on every day because they will wear out pretty quickly. Now with the recent ones, I've had really good experience that they are durable. Like they don't, with me, they don't rip like on the sides. But what has happened a lot, and I can actually show you with all of them. They have all ripped right here. Here, here and here and this one I've only practiced for with three months so it happened fairly quickly with this one um, so to make them last longer uh, it's good to switch your boots like every day because yeah I have found this to be with me let me know if what your experiences are if they have ripped over at that spot because now with yeah three boots they've ripped at the exact exact same spot and like i said with my last one this one it happened in just three months so yeah nike if you're watching please fix that issue and then they're perfect all right now let's see if i can hit some balls with them it i'm starting to sweat too much i still have practice later so i need to save some goals but you can see i love them they're very comfortable so i think nike did a very good job bringing these out this design i like it i look forward to seeing more colors of it so i guess this this is kind of the design they will go with for the next round I give them a nine out of ten so i do hope that they fix the issue where with my last three pairs they tore at the at the start these don't do that it's a 10 so that was it for today i hope you enjoyed let me know what you think about the new boots that nike brought out and also don't forget if you want to see me do any any challenges i'll take them on let me know in the comments and maybe i'll do it next week all right see you